to buy it. I'm glad you paid it. Are we good? All right. Once upon a time, in the age of Aquarius, in the 70s, <laughs> my mother, a hot Scorpio, <laughs> my father, a mild mannered Libra, my mother, a factory worker, hard working, swollen hands, my father, a social climber, a realtor who did not even take off his necktie until he went to bed at night. <laughs> My mother read the Dell Horoscope magazine. She would sit on the couch and page through. She would tell me, a Pisces, and my sister, a Cancer, how lucky we were that all of us were water signs because that meant we got along very well. <laughs> However, the Libra, he was an air sign. Three women, water signs, and one man, an air sign. He was like a storm. He was the wind. He bothered us. He just <laughs> bothered us. He waves in our lives. My mother would tell us our horoscopes, and sort of amused by the way she talked about it. She would say, you're, this is going to be a lucky day for you. Or she would say something like, you're going to probably get into an argument with someone today. Honey, I get into an argument with somebody every, but every single day. So I never really believed it. One day, something really strange happened. My mother said, it says here in my horoscope, that tomorrow, my entire life is going to turn upside down. <laughs> huh. She said, tomorrow is the first day of my vacation. And sure enough, it was her one week off for the entire year from her factory job. My mom dressed up in a suit, a red suit, pantyhose and red shoes. She went into the kitchen, made her coffee, sat down, and announced to the Libra, I'm coming with you today to your office. I want you to open the books and show me what is going on. The Libra said, absolutely not. <laughs> this is my business. I take care of everything. I provide for you, don't I? You don't need to do anything. Oh, the Scorpio, <laughs> she needs to know. They went back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and the ultimate was that my father said, if you insist, I'm gonna pack my clothes and leave you. My mother stood there in her big high heel and wiggled her foot and said, I insist. Don't pack my car. Put my clothes in my car. I was 12. I did what I was told. I went from the closet to the car back, from the closet to the car back. And then the next thing you know, there we were. My mom and I standing at the front door of our house. And my dad, he was in the station wagon driving down the road. My mom turned to me and said, Hey! My horoscope was right. <laughs> <laughs>